Daniel Kabidi, I think he's quite high up in the teaching union, has come out and said that there's a massive problem with, um, what they call it, misogyny, okay, in schools. And he thinks that this stems from porn. We well, might want to look at who originally set up porn, by the way. You probably won't like that. And why certain countries banned it. Anyway, that's another thing. Now, oh, actually, while you're there, you might want to look into something called blacked, okay? That's where black men uh, in the porn industry have sex with white women, and they're not very nice to them, all right? Okay? All parties are consenting, obviously, but it doesn't look very good. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's quite a thing. Um, also, if you're really interested about trying to stamp out misogyny, you might well want to look into having a chat to Islam, uh, bearing in mind what a woman's worth and a man's worth within Islam. But I have to say, I do think right, that the porn industry is very damaging. Because, to be honest, all the time that you could wake up in the morning and not one out and then go about your day, you're not actually going to look for a partner. And that's damaging to reproduction, damaging to you know, keep the population up, etc, etc. And there is some correlation that says that porn basically is a bit like in some ways drugs that once you get used to it, you're always looking for something stronger. Um, <clears throat> so that's the thing. But he's also singling out people like Andrew Tate. And while, while Andrew Tate does say a lot of things I agree with, which you probably won't like, not all of it by the way, um, you know, what, what the modern day woman does, what she thinks she's entitled to, what value does she bring, that kind of stuff. And if this bloke's a bit of a simp, he will want the table uh, on the woman's side, basically. What they want is misandry, not misogyny, right? But some of it ain't gonna happen. And as things get worse, um, you're gonna find that, 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 that nobody's gonna give a lot of quarter going forward. But I'm interested to know exactly what area that he was teaching in, okay? And um, because there's a demographics change, you're going to see a huge difference of attitude towards women. Why? Well, because in their cultures, women isn't worth as much. So you might want to look at that as well. Demographics will play a massive difference in how women are treated. And when we see white girls getting battered by people of different colours, and, you know, the only, the other thing is, that shit rubs off. So you might have had white kids here that wouldn't have got involved with any of that sort of stuff, and now you got white boys. Probably didn't have a dad to grow up with, or they're even following the rest of their mates who maybe have a different, different, different demographic, who will treat women differently. But, here's the thing. Women, women have changed over the years, okay? What they used to be, what they are now, I'm not talking about physically, but their their attitudes, and what they believe in, and what they want, and what they do. And all of this has been created to put a divide between man and woman. In the old days, a man went to work, woman stayed home, looked after the kids. That worked for years. They were actually quite happy. And there's many women that nowadays would love to have found a good, honest man, and she be a good, honest woman, and have that. In all the time that I was uh, living at home, my mother stayed at home, she looked after the house and she would answer some calls for dad because dad had his own business and dad would go out and work a stupid amount of hours and that was it. She was a great disciplinarian and if you didn't watch what you were doing when your dad got home, you had to deal with him or he would deal with you moreover. Um, we live in a different time now. But what are women's attitudes towards men as well? That's something that doesn't really get talked about, isn't it? Because hey, it's all right to bully fucking men. But it's especially all right to bully white men, because why not, right? They're the least represented by any organization. They're the least looked after. They're the low cow for the left to kick around. They seem to dislike them. But hey, -o, what do you think? Do you think pornography's got a lot to answer for? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think that a lot of this misogyny that this person's talking about actually comes from the cultures that are now within the major cities, you know, like Islam. 
because we know what that thinks of these women, right? A lot of black cultures, right, from overseas. You know, if these people are, are new to the reservation, then they might bring their cultures and traits. Well, it's, it's not a question that they might, they will bring their cultures and their traits with them. And they might be offensive to traditional British people who would put his woman on the inside when he walks up the road, make sure he opens the door for her, treat her like a lady as long as she is, right? Know what I mean? They're totally different, a lot of them would come over. And therein lies the problem. Diversity was never our strength and isn't our strength. And it's been pushed by a group of individuals who are quite keen on changing the face of Great Britain for the worst forever. And there it is. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I do read them. If you like the content I'm making and you want to support my work, here's a few links in the description, but only if you can afford it. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next one.